In this video, we're gonna cover the customizer. The customizer is the place where you're gonna be able to edit and change all the site styles for your website. So you can change the look and feel of your entire website in one place. What's really cool about this is that you have the ability to see all your changes live as you make it. So on the right hand side of the screen, you have your actual website where you could click into any of the tabs and see the different pages on your site while you are making changes in the customizer. So the first thing I'm gonna do here inside of general settings is upload my logo. So I'll hit add file. I'll add in this logo here and you'll see that right away it shows up right here and the logo has been placed. From there, you could begin to change the look and feel of your website. So here you'll see the body background color and that's for this section here. And so just to show you a change, as you see here, if I change this, it will change the background. I'll change it to full white right now and we'll keep it like that. Then you could look into the font and make adjustments to the font. You have a load of options in here that you can choose from um, right away. So I'll go to Open Sans and then I will go to the secondary font family as Montserrat. Perfect. Now, before I go further, I do want to take a look at view themes. Just note one thing, as you can see here, warning, this could override certain settings and color uh, colors and layouts. So as you're working on the site, if you make a lot of changes to the, the actual site styles and then change the theme, um, it may override settings then. But if we take a look here, uh, we could go in and then start to look at these and see any types of themes that we would want to choose from, which is really cool and easy to do. And then from there, if there is one we like, we can uh, preview that theme. Now, if you do decide to use another theme, what will happen is the content and the structure, the layout of the content for your site will stay the same, but the colors um, and maybe the spacing, the general settings of the site will adjust a bit for that new theme. So you don't have to worry about losing content that you've already preloaded into your site. Now, as you can see, this is enabled. And so down here in the bottom right hand corner of my website, there's this little button here that if I click on it, you'll get this, which is so cool. You could send us a voice message here. They could record a voice message. And what's really cool is down here. You could adjust the copy for the content as well as you like. If you want to add a scroll to top button, you could do that animated page loader and a podcast image ratio from square to flexible, you could do that as well. Now, as you're making changes, you can go back and forth through these different menu options. Um, and then at the top, when you're ready, you could hit save all. So you could hit save in the middle and then make adjustments and hit save again. I'm gonna continue to work on this right now. Uh, so I'm gonna just click header and footer. So here we are on the header and footer, and I wanna take a look at the header layout. Once we come in here, we have this option for a sticky header. So a sticky header is if I click on this, you'll see that the header will stay at the top of the page as someone scrolls through the page. So if I go back to the home page, you could see that here really clearly. Also, you could adjust the position of everything in the navigation. So if I set the logo to be center and then let's say the navigation as well to be center, you'll see that's how it will structure itself. You could also just revert back to that or uh, adjust it as you like. And then from here, what I could do is go back and then go to the footer layout. I'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this is my footer here and I can make adjustments to the footer. So I could say show or hide. So just get rid of the footer or show it again. And then the number of columns that I want listed, if I want two, three or four, how many ever that I want listed. And then you could actually edit the content of the footer by clicking this button here. Now we're going to take a look at audio player inside audio player. We also have this option to have a sticky audio player. So if I enable this, you'll see that at the bottom of the screen there, I'll turn it off just so you see it again, the bottom of the screen there, an audio player has shown up, which is really cool. So if someone hits play on an episode, they would be able to get the episode at the bottom of the screen and run through it on their page as they're exploring your website. What's also really cool about this feature is that you can set it up to show sound waves instead of the audio feature. So I'm going to hit play on this. I'll just mute it for a second. Um, but you'll see here as I hit play. 
And so just like that, you can see here, the sound waves are showing up. Um, and as it plays through, it'll show the sound waves, which is pretty cool. So you just turn on, it was disabled before, but you just enable it and you're good to go. Following, if I go back to the main navigation here and I go to global uh, episode lists, in here, I have a lot of options that I can make adjustments to how the podcasts show up throughout the entire website. So let me scroll down here to this recent episode section and you'll see here these options. Let me take a look at a few of them with you right now. So the meta byline display, we could hide that or show it and then it shows these default options below it. So here, the date could keep that, remove it, the episode season, uh, the meta duration, the meta file size, things like this, we could keep or remove and adjust as we like. Uh, and then here, episode description length in characters. So if you want to make them a little bit shorter uh, or a little bit longer, you can control that. Here, the episode image, do you want it to display or be hidden? You can do that. And then also the audio player to show or hide. Uh, and then episode shadow display. And we also have an episode button display, which is really, really cool. Now, there are a lot of different settings here, as you can see, for all the different parts of your site. So you could fully customize this to your look and feel. And what's really cool about this is that when you're going through your pages, and let's just say you want to change something about this review page that's actually on the page, the content, you could just hit edit page here, and it'll give you the option to edit the content on the page. So if I go to the contact page, I can edit the contact page, the actual content, it'll take me into the page editor so I can make those changes. Now, again, when you're done making all the changes and you're happy with the look and feel, make sure to hit save all and you're going to be good to go.